Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. Uh, we're going to do a video on something a little different today. Give you a little sneak peek here. But uh, we've got a beautiful day to do a video. Clear skies, 48 degrees, a little chilly, but I think we can manage. I've been getting a lot of requests in the comments asking me to do videos on Ranger boats. Uh, makes sense since I sell them, right? So we're going to try to make everybody happy, which I've been told is nearly impossible, but we're certainly going to try. All right, so today's culprit is going to be the 2022 RB200 center console aluminum boat made by Ranger. You have the 190 and you have the 200. So uh, we've got the 200 sitting in front of us. So that's what we want to look at. Uh, the 200, let's see, center console in general is probably going to be your most versatile boat. Uh, you can use this for fishing or pleasure boating, just running around, all that good stuff. Plenty of seating. The RB200 is rated for five people. Look at all the seating on this thing. You have two flip-up seats in the back here, bench seat at the console, and a little cooler seat in front of the console. So you've got plenty of room for the family, a uh, boat full of girls, not just the side chick. So, I mean, you have plenty of seating for everybody. The 200, don't skip. We're about to go over the important stuff that I'm going to be asking in the comments now. All right, so this one's equipped with a 150 Mercury. We're going to get to pricing. You can do this one with the 115 or a 150. 150 is going to set you back $38,245 starting out. And then one like this with the 150 is going to start you out about $41,195. So you don't have to worry about that being different dealer to dealer. Ranger's all, you know, national advertised, no haggle, no hassle price. It's all set pricing dealer to dealer nationwide. So that's set in stone what your starting price is gonna be. Uh, we, of course, we've added the fishing package to this one, which we'll get to here in a minute. But uh, we'll start at the back here. So your RB200 is gonna be powered by this Mercury Pro XS 150. We've got the uh, stainless steel prop on it, which it comes with. Four blade, let's check which one it is. See, Revolution 14.6 by 21 pitch. So that's the type of prop that's gonna be on it. Uh, this one's equipped with the motor toter, transom tie downs, hydraulic setback plate uh, made by Atlas. That comes with your fishing, uh, fishing package with the hydraulic setback option. All right, moving on down the side. Can't really tell that this is aluminum unless you get up on it and try to find where the weld seams are, but it's nice fit and finish going all the way down the side, painted side of the hole and then painted bottom. These are padded holes, so they help you plane out quicker, even in shallow water. Uh, these are said to draft in about 12 inches of water, so it doesn't take much. They come standard on a tandem axle galvanized trailer. Disc brakes to each axle with this diamond plate. Helps uh, for non-slip, even though I can, I can definitely slip on that, but they say it's non-skid, so. Moving on, you got cleats front and rear um, at the bow and the stern. Pop them up like that, so on. I was wanting to go to the inside of the boat, but we're not going to jump ahead just yet. Painted under bottom, spare tire. That's going to take a hike to get to, but jump on the nose here, and then you got this little step to help you enter uh, the bow. I'm trying so hard not to move on to the inside of the boat, but we're going to go ahead and stop here. So this one right here has been upgraded to the Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor. You can get these with the standard, um, which is like a hand controlled trolling motor. Uh, you could do the Minn Kota Tarova, or you can do the Minn Kota Altera through the factory. Uh, the difference between the Tarova and the Altera, the Altera lifts itself. This one, you gotta use your legs and kick down here to release. Still has a remote that comes with it though. You can see that here. You can control it from the back of the boat, front of the boat, without even touching it. Everybody gets so spoiled nowadays. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much the outside of the boat. We'll go ahead and jump on in. Been eager to show you this. 
All right, so like I was telling you out there, you have these two flip-up seats in the back. You can put them down and extend your casting deck, or you can have them up for you people that want to go with you. They also flip up for storage, which is important in a boat. We'll go ahead and set those down out of the way so we don't trip on them trying to get down. I'll try not to spin you around a lot you get dizzy. We have three across seat bases on the rear and three across up front. In the back, you've got your battery uh, compartment and a spare prop rack. All your pumps are easy to access back there. Got this nice, lovely bench seat here at the console that flips down and allows you access to your live well. At your console, they give you this right here, a uh, little vacant mount mounting place, I guess you could call it. It uh, allows up to a nine inch graph. You don't see one on this one just because everybody thinks that their brand of graph is the best. So if we put a hummingbird on this thing, somebody would want Simrad. If we put Simrad on it, somebody wants Garmin. So we let the customer decide what they want to put on this boat. We'll install it for them. Got all your nice little push button switches. You can see your horn, aerator, uh, lights, interior lights, all that good stuff, bilge pumps. USB ports, 12 volt outlet, some gauges. These come with the uh, fishing package, your uh, water pressure and trim gauge. Then you have your fuel gauge. This one right here allows up to 28 gallons that's going to be your fuel capacity for this then you have your switch for your hydraulic jack plate up down your throttle also have trim on the throttle here as well as on the motor and up front it's going to be where your kill switch is and underneath you're going to have uh, more battery placement that's going to be for your troll motor right here is what this boat cost so with the dual pro onboard charger that's standard boarding liner standard excuse me all right rb fishing package Minn Kota tarova uh, let's see they even got dealer prep and destination charges tacked on here so that's going to bring you to 43 556 so that, that's what this boat's going to run you, 43,566, it looks like, 556, five excuse me. Got a nice little windshield here to block the wind. Two cup holders. I've seen people mount graphs here too, if you want a second one here, second one here. Uh, whatever you want to do. This is going to be for your live well. You got empty, auto, and recirculate. Now up front, you do have two rod lockers that hold up to eight and a half foot rods. Uh, if you have rods that exceed eight and a half foot, you can certainly store them here on the sides of the console. You have three here and you have three here. Plenty of room to walk around in this boat here. All right, so here's gonna be your front deck. You have this rod locker on the port side. And then on the starboard side, you have another rod locker. Uh, like I said, those allow up to an eight and a half foot rod. Got gas lid and uh, spring assist. Now on the RB200 that the RB190 does not have is a second bait well. So you don't have to run all the way to the back of the boat to keep your fish. In front of the second bait well, you have a storage compartment. You can use that to throw ice in and throw your fish in. Put them on ice. You got a little drain there. Drains to the bottom of the boat. Now up front, you have that three across seating like I was telling you in the back there. 
the seat does come with a pedestal. You don't have to sit on the floor. You can if you want to, but if you'd rather not, you don't have to. Get that out of the way. All right, so right here, you have another pan. You can use this for storage or to put the foot pan for the Minn Kota Tarova in. Then, like I was showing you out there, this one has the Minn Kota Tarova added. I think it was like a $975 option, but it's, it's certainly worth the upgrade to have that, you know, the spot lock and the controller with it. All right. Up at the bow, you have your, let's see, navigation light, stern light, uh, let's see, trim buttons, and then your plug for your trolling motor. Some people will get the, um, quick disconnect bracket for the troll motor added on these some people don't this one's mounted straight too but uh if you did want the quick disconnect you can add that to it and then you know disconnect your troll motor if you feel like it's going to be in the way or you're not going to be using it that next outing but again this boat is 20 foot 10 inches in length 96 inch beam I believe it weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,660 pounds. Uh, that's your boat weight. And then I tried for like an hour to find a total package weight on this to no prevail. So I'm going to put it in the neighborhood of 2,800 to 3,000 pounds total package. Um, I mean, that's light enough where even my little V6 Toyota Tacoma over there can haul it. Can't haul my camper, but it can haul this. I think it might be time to switch i'm not sure but uh let me let me look over my little list here see if i forgot to tell you anything i didn't forget to tell you anything um if you think i did you can put it in the comments below i'll be more than happy to try to find you an answer but uh, in case i didn't tell you this only takes about 12 inches of water to draft has a padded hole to help you get up on plane quicker it's going to be about 24 foot 8 inches of storage length and then starting price ranged from uh, what whatever motor you decided to go with. With the 115, it was $38,245. And then when with the 150 like this one, you start out about $41,195. And then whatever you decide to add to that, it's on you. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I could uh, please everybody with the Ranger Boat video here today. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to try to help you. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Leave me a thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. And if you feel the need to and want to see me again, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. let you know when I upload a new video. Uh, so until next time, I'll try to get you another Ranger Boat video and a Lance Camper. Uh, to look at and i'll catch you on the next one